And since I brought it up, let's talk about the tag team division on SmackDown. The Usos would not let Sami Zayn get a meeting with Roman Reigns on Friday night. They would not even let him in the same room with Roman Reigns. They yelled at him, they berated him. It feels like things are about to finally blow over with Sami, whatever the payoff to the story is going to end up being. Here's what I would do. And there's a lot of different ways that you can go with this. Part of me thinks you almost have to have that, finally, he's got to have that meeting with Roman Reigns, right? He's got to get into the room, or he has to do something that affects Roman directly, you know, to kind of show him, okay, you wouldn't give me the time of day, well, I'm going to, you know, whatever it is that he does. But I, I like this idea too much. And so this is what I would do. The Usos beat the Street Profits again at SummerSlam. They're, they're done with the Street Profits. That's over now. There's nobody else left right now for them to work with. Nobody credible. What if Kevin Owens, who is not doing anything on Raw at the moment, and, and that may be by design, Triple H may be holding him back, makes the trip over to SmackDown to try to talk some sense into his old friend. It's not like we, we haven't had crossover between the two brands before anyway. It's not much of a brand split. I don't know what Triple H's mindset is on the whole brand split, but yes, I understand Owens is a Raw guy, Sammy is a SmackDown guy, but work with me here because that hasn't stopped them before. Owens comes over, he says, you know, he shows up on SmackDown, tries to convince Sammy, look, this Bloodline stuff, I've been watching what's going on here. They're just taking advantage of you. They're stringing you along. They're using you. They don't really care about you. And it takes some convincing, but... Over a period of time, Zayn comes to see that Owens is right. And the two end up coming together to challenge the Usos for the undisputed tag team titles. Sami Zayn has been a heel now for five years. It's been a long time since we have seen babyface Sami Zayn. We've had uh, Fidel Castro Sami Zayn. We've had conspiracy theorist Sami Zayn. We had jackass Sami Zayn when he was feuding with Johnny Knoxville for months. We've gone through all of these different phases of Sami Zayn, and he's made them all work. He's very entertaining in, in that role. But it's been a very long time since we've seen the babyface side of him. Him standing up to the bloodline and challenging them for their titles and winning them with, with KO, I think, would be one great payoff to this story. For all the matches that they've had against each other, Owens and Zayn have never been tag team champions in WWE. Owens was tag team champions once with uh, in Ring of Honor with that El Generico guy, but Generico was executed by a Mexican drug cartel and left to rot in a ditch somewhere in Tijuana. It's very sad. But that's the match that I would book for Clash at the Castle. If Triple H wants to honor the brand split, all right, maybe, maybe draft them both back onto the same brand so they can kind of delay the story for a little bit longer. But that's the match that I would do in Cardiff. Especially if Roman Reigns does end up losing one or both of his titles on that show, it would end up being a very bad night overall for the entire bloodline if the Usos also lost their titles. Then Owens and Zayn, they could float between brands, and I don't, to me, the more of them that we get on TV, the better. I don't see that as a bad thing. But that's the one thing those two have not done together on TV. They have not been partners and gone after the tag team titles. And I'm looking at the landscape of tag teams in WWE right now, and I don't see a better option. I know I just talked about possibly reuniting DIY, but that's more of a that's more of a long-term project. KO and Sammy, you can do that now.